uniform regs are called uniform regulations, not because this is a uniform, but so that we as a Navy are uniform in how we wear it. We are uniform in how we wear our hair and our medals and our socks. To be a uniform service, uniform in how we carry ourselves. We as sailors are responsible to uphold and follow what's in that regulation. When a conversation starts about uniforms, uh, often you know sailors will say, I was told I could keep my hands in my pockets as long as I was standing still and not walking. And they're relying on um, non-factual dialogue. They're relying on hearsay or presumption versus a sailor saying, my chief or my LPO sat me down and showed me the regulations. And in the chapter where it says, hands and pockets are distracting, so it showed me that it doesn't matter where you are, but you can't wear your hands in your pocket. And so when you go into chapter one of the uniform regulations, um, you'll see where it talks about prescribing authority and basic standards and general information. In fact, that's where it specifically talks about uh, hands in pockets. And it's under the header paragraph of enforcement. And so, uh, you know, when a sailor says to me, like, oh, fleet, I was told I, I could have my hands in my pockets if I was standing still. It was only when I was walking. Well, I'm telling you that the uniform regulations is telling us, uh, no. I offer you to use caution on how you receive and how you execute what you've heard without seeing the actual factual data, without seeing the why, you know, the who, what, when, where, why, how kind of deal. The last thing we want to do as sailors is misrepresent our uniform. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.